incredibly talented. Denis Shapovalov hasn't had the year we've expected from him. These guys know each other so well. It's going to be great to see them play here in New York. And uh, for Shapovalov, he's capable of beating everybody. And these are two of the premier youngsters in the world. We're talking about, I think, both future top tenors very soon. I mean, Oje Aliassime played qualies here last year. That's that's amazing. And and now. Didn't you think Felix a year later from here, from last year's Open, was going to be seated? Was that yeah, your prediction? Yes, I did. <laughs> My one thing I said right. That was awesome. Now I said that in the qualies last year. I know he'd be seated this high, but I just think he's a great player and uh, has tremendous composure. Jim and I have talked a little bit about some hiccups on the serve he's having lately. Oje Ali seems to been a little bit unstable on the serve, but the thing that I love the most about him is his composure. You watch how he tries to think through problems on the court. This kid has all of the tools, mental and physical, to get to the top of the game. And actually, the lefty that he's playing does as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, there's a nice contrast between these two. Felix's game is very economical. It reminds a lot of Novak Djokovic's. His size the same, uh, the way that he's balanced forehand and backhand, very similar. And then you look at Denis Shapovalov on the other side. I mean, everything from his hair, which is it's tightened up. It's not as unruly as it was last year, but his game is very flashy and flamboyant, uh, flexible with his with his swings. Um, he's a lot of fun. He's a slashing shot maker, whereas uh, Oje Aliassime is more of a technician out there in many ways. And, and James, you saw at your tournament in Miami, Dennis and Felix both had great runs. Yeah, and I didn't want to see this end that way last year, obviously, but what you do see is you see a true friendship and you see the fact that these players are human beings. And I think that's a great reminder for people that they do have other issues off the court. And Felix Oje Aliassime had a health issue last year and now uh, feeling much better. And we want to see them uh, decide this with their rackets. And, and, and I think it was a great reminder. Let's look at their section of the draw, James. How, how good is it? I mean, how, what do you think might happen? In this part of the draw. Uh, well, uh, just like a, like we said about the other matchup, if Shapovalov Aliassime is the popcorn matchup for sure there, and you got another player that creates plenty of popcorn matchups in Gail Monfils in this section. So uh, either one that comes through out of Oje Aliassime and Shapovalov, if they're playing Gail Monfils in the third round, that's another heck of a popcorn matchup. Maybe even a night match, something that would be a lot of fun to watch. And Monfils has played so much more professional the last couple of years, and it's still exciting to see that kind of tennis. Look, and we never know what's going to happen, but when you see three highlight reels in those names right there, young and old, um, it's very enticing. And, and one of the things that I found really interesting about Gael Monfils this year is he's been a little bit more um, kind of predisposed to understanding how he wants to play each match. We wonder sometimes he floats around because he has so many tools in the toolkit. I think the court speed for Gael Monfils is very good this year. Mm -hmm. um, Taylor Fritz practiced with him last week, so I got the opportunity to be on the court uh, watching. And I still, I still think maybe the best athlete that's ever played the men's game. Second man. Uh, yeah, third. Uh, <laughs> okay. Did I make another good prediction, maybe? <laughs> maybe.